History whispers of strange coincidences, but few are as compelling as the echoes between Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy. These two American presidents, separated by a century, lived startlingly similar lives, marked by uncanny parallels and a shared destiny. Lincoln, born in a Kentucky log cabin in 1809, rose to become the great emancipator. Kennedy, born into a wealthy family in 1917, embraced leadership during the Cold War. Both men, charismatic leaders, were tragically cut down by assassins' bullets at the pinnacle of their power. Their lives reveal a tapestry of uncanny parallels, inviting us to ponder the forces that shape history. Lincoln and Kennedy's political journeys were strikingly similar. Both men entered the national political scene in the House of Representatives, Lincoln in 1847 and Kennedy in 1947, exactly a hundred years apart. Both served two terms before ascending to the Senate, where they championed civil rights. Their presidential elections were also marked by uncanny parallels, defeating Southern opponents and assuming office in a divided nation. Both men experienced the profound sorrow of losing children while residing in the White House. Their wives, Mary Todd Lincoln and Jacqueline Kennedy, were women of style and substance, forever linked by tragedy. The assassinations of Lincoln and Kennedy share a chilling number of parallels. Both presidents were shot on a Friday in the presence of their wives. Lincoln was killed at Ford's Theater. Kennedy in a Lincoln convertible made by the Ford Motor Company. Both assassins, John Wilkes Booth and Lee Harvey Oswald, were charismatic figures with a penchant for the dramatic. Neither assassin lived to stand trial, adding to the intrigue. The nation mourned the loss of two young presidents who had embodied hope and progress. The web of coincidences surrounding Lincoln and Kennedy extends to their successors. Both Andrew Johnson and Lyndon B. Johnson, thrust into the presidency by tragedy, shared not only the same last name, but also an unlikely connection to the number 13. Andrew Johnson was born in 1809, 13 years after Lincoln's birth. Lyndon B. Johnson was elected to the Senate in 1948, 13 years after Kennedy's birth. Adding to the intrigue, Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy, while Kennedy's secretary was named Lincoln. Some dismiss these parallels as mere coincidence, while others see them as evidence of a deeper order. Whether viewed as fate or synchronicity, the Lincoln-Kennedy parallels continue to fascinate and inspire debate. The uncanny parallels between Lincoln and Kennedy challenge us to ponder the nature of history itself. Do these echoes suggest a predetermined course, or are they merely random occurrences that we imbue with significance? The Lincoln-Kennedy parallels remind us of the cyclical nature of history, echoing themes of progress and setback, unity and division. The legacies of Lincoln and Kennedy, forever intertwined by their shared fate, continue to inspire and challenge us today. Lincoln, the great emancipator, guided the nation through its darkest hour, preserving the Union and abolishing slavery. Kennedy, the torchbearer of a new generation, challenged Americans to reach for the stars and embrace peace, progress, and equality. Their assassinations served as a catalyst for reflection and change, forcing the nation to confront its demons. The eerie echoes between Lincoln and Kennedy serve as a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the enduring power of hope. Their stories, forever linked by tragedy and triumph, continue to resonate across generations, urging us to strive for a better future. This is Everyday Facts. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care.